when the Hermitage was planning its 250th birthday party, Michael Piotrowski, the director, asked if they could mark this with one great loan from their sister institution, the British Museum. And obviously that had to be a very big object, an important one. If you want only one thing to have in the celebration, it's British Museum. If you have only one thing to be shown, a real masterpiece of all the masterpieces, it will be something from Parfenon. The loan was discussed over about two years. Obviously, all great works of art travel incognito for security reasons. And uh, it arrived just a few days ago in St. Petersburg. We wanted to choose one of the Parthenon sculptures that spoke of the great ideals, not just of ancient Athens, but of the Enlightenment. And that's why we chose the river god Ilissos. It's not just a wonderful image of an athletic young man about to rise. It's also, of course, reference to the river Ilissos just outside ancient Athens. And you can see in the way the drapery turns into water that this is both a person and a river. And Plato tells us that along the banks of the Elysos, Socrates and Phaedrus talked about the morality of love and the value of beauty and the good society. It's a piece of philosophy as well as a piece of sculpture. What is special about the Hermitage is that the rooms designed by the German architect Klenze for the sculpture here are without question the most beautiful rooms for showing antique sculpture anywhere in the world. We expected that there would be a lot of interest in the story and there has been. This fits exactly into the mission of the museum, which is uh, in a museum of the world for the world. So last year the museum lent some 5,000 objects to some 340 museums around the world and around the United Kingdom. Uh, the strong instinct of the trustees is to lend this fantastic collection under the right circumstances of conservation and return. That's what we want to do. And so if an institution like the Hermitage says, can we do this? We think about it carefully and then we say, great, let's do it. It is, I think, very pleasing because it will, I hope, remind everybody of the importance of allowing the public of the world to see the things that are the shared inheritance of humanity. The great works of art are like the writings of Shakespeare. They belong to everybody and the whole world shares them and they mean different things in different places. And the great works in the British Museum belong to everybody. And that's also one of the points of this loan, to remind everyone that the people of Russia have a right to see these objects. And it's a great symbol of, first, relations between the two museums, second, the trust which exists between the cultural institutions, and it shows that, well, I think all the politicians must look at us, how we trust each other, how we work, how we keep these bridges, cultural bridges, open, because in today's situation, this normal museum exchange has become very important. It's, it's, it's such a good will. Just a fantastic gesture of friendship between museums and we do appreciate it, especially coming from Britain, especially coming at such a time.